Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Awam Kenneth, and it's basically heal the basses day. But before we continue, let's remember to hit the red button and subscribe. It's been a while since I've done like a full video on my channel. I've just been doing literally shots for a while. I'm writing exams, so it's quite hectic. But yo, heal the bassy. Heal the bassy is making Nigerians proud yeah, the boss is bringing nigeria dare i say together after this whole escapade you know of an election like i don't say tumultuous but i don't know if i can pronounce that word right but you were like this is something that we all needed um as nigerians like you can't help but just like smile like someone is doing this right i mean yeah i also like personal things for her to gain in the air um but yo like the fact that she's doing this there's a community spirit people are happy people are like shouting and re rejoicing with her encouraging her um people are also scared for her you know because the tool on your health your mental faculty being awake for four days you like i'm trying to watch a two-hour tutorial on youtube and i'm falling asleep <laughs> guys like even when you watch film you know netflix there's a point you get like seven hours in your head is banging and you just want to like sleep and rest your eyes right so imagine doing that for four days four days not one day not <laughs> nine hours four days it's really really crazy and you know just seeing like the supports um try to get some videos in here the support that has been happening in lekki lagos um for hilda basi at the garden center where the entire thing is taken down is just crazy there has been the likes of you know messages from the vice president vp uh Osipanjo. Um, I think I saw a tweet on Twitter um, from the official handle of Buhari, President Buhari, and people were like, you know, dragging him and whatnot, <laughs> right? Um, Peter Obi, who my friend is always, you know, dragging for always being that person to go and congratulate people, right? And we also saw like a video of his wife on there also. Um, by now, Hilda should be at the 100 hour if I'm not mistaken, and the process of getting her satisfied as a Guinness World Record holder will start taking place, and hopefully she is satisfied. But even if she's not, right? Like she has done, she has done the work. She has made Nigeria, Nigerians proud. Like she has technically put us on the map again for something good, you know. Um, just that hard work and re resilience of a Nigerian, um, that message has been amplified again that we are hard workers, we are resilient, we now have like a new role model to look at, <laughs> right? And she is 27, right? And it's kind of like that extra social media pressure again, like, oh my God, I am 25, I'm 26. See what Hilda Bassi is doing. I need to do something great, you know? But you know, guys, calm down. Take a take a chill pill. Like you, you are great in your own individual and unique way. Um, don't be oppressed, <laughs> right? Um, don't feel like you have to compete. Um, because this tax is not easy. A lot of things had to come together to make this as successful as it was. Um, for Hilda Bassi. And I am just like in awe and I really just want to like come out here and do a video supporting Hilda Bassi and just like mini congratulations. Um, and I know that when the satisfied um, record from the Guinness World Records come out, like it, it would even be much more bigger, right? Um, and she did it for something as natural to every Nigerian as cooking, right? Um, we all are familiar with cooking, we eat um, all the different foods and I'm kind of like jealous that like I was not going to be alive, right? I would have eaten the free food that she was given, you know, the jello fries, the breakfast, the akara. When was the last time I took a car? I cannot remember. Um, yeah, like it's really, really contagious. Just like the energy, no matter where you are on your phone, 
it's kind of like crazy right just hearing and seeing people react and just being in awe and like the happiness is just purely organic um and i'm sure a lot of people are like you know hardcore jealous that they <laughs> They didn't think of this idea. Like even me, I'm like, oh my god, I should have thought of this for you. Ah, I don't get the power. I can't, right? And also shout out to her sous chef. I think the guy's name is. Um, let me look for it. Just give me a second. The guy's name is Ajom Sunday, right? And people are kind of like also showering him praises for being there with Hilda as she's going through this. It kind of reminds you of like when people achieve great fits, there's always that cameraman, you know, there's always that support staff that's also technically achieving those like those great fits with them alongside, right? But people don't realize or like give them credit in a way, right? Because she's staying awake, her, car her camera crewmen are also staying awake. The MC is also staying awake, so technically, they are also like getting their own Guinness World Record for being the, you know, I don't know how you put it, the cameraman that stayed up the longest hours too, right? <laughs> um, so these are um, some of the things that um, go behind the scenes, just kind of like having that support of a village um, coming together to, you know, make you successful, right? So all those kind of like um, sayings where people say, oh, I did it myself, I'm self-made. Now you can technically see evidence that, well, you might have that self-initiative, that self-spirit, that self-drive to like want to accomplish that and take you throughout the entire journey of accomplishing it, but you still need publicity, publicists, um, marketers, videographers, MCs, and also like goodwill support from your community, right? Coming out there to cheer you on and imagine it to be a whole world of difference if she basically did that in a closed room right and it wasn't that energy of people you know coming being under the sun being under the rain and just like being there that energy you know that energy like energy is infectious right like that energy is enough to keep you going for five days but really i'm really scared and i'm hoping that like she gained back her energy like she recuperates after this because this is an undertaking head health wise right like this is seriously like your mind psychologically like being awake for four days you don't know what toll you'll be under and I hope that she gets all the medical attention that she deserves after this like her team should not definitely play with this right but anyway that's the entire update I have for you guys I will try and like put some videos as this is playing on um but yeah remember to subscribe to my channel you know <laughs> and stay safe and see you guys in the next one and congrats to Hilda Bassi peace guys